I'm a big fan of like really, really bulky Reshiram. And there's gonna be a Psychic Seeds Reshiram. So it's gonna be super bulky. I wish this team had room for an Intimidator. Like I probably should have one. But I do think that like this team technically does have a lot of tools going for it. Bulky Kartana, bulky Lele, bulky Reshiram, bulky Aleki too. So and even even the Urshfu set is like a little bit of a bulk set. So hopefully we can get some good wins with this team. Reshiram's super sick here. I'm not even wrong. Like Reshiram is so nice. I love I love Reshiram here. What are they gonna do against us? Hmm. I don't want to lead Lele because I want them to have to waste their time fake outing, right? Um, what's a mom that I can lead with that has like immediate pressure? Maybe like a. Uh... See, like Urshifu is so weird here. I don't necessarily like the Urshifu. Kartana's not that great for Zap. I guess I still like Regilecki in this matchup. But Regilecki's kind of weird. I guess I can just go Torn. Yeah. These two are nice. Lele for sure switch in. And then what mod do we want to bring in the back? Like, this is amazing versus Palkia, but I bet you that Palkia has Flamethrower, right? So it's like, a little bit dicey. This is not that great versus Zap. It can hit Shedinja. Urshifu gets super hard checked by, like, the Shedinja and the Toxicroak. I think we're going to bring the Cart as the last mod, and I'm just not, I'm not happy about it, but you know what? It might be able to get me some value. Let's go. Chat wasn't working for a minute? Yo. Yo, Rush is clean, I agree. Chat, you ever see? Yeah, we don't have to, like, use Blue Flare. We can just use Dragon Pulse on it. I might still want to Blue Flare this Shinjo because there's a 30% chance for Burn. 30% chance for Burn is pretty significant, if I do say so myself. So let's see what they use. Palkia, popping it off right now. Toxic Croak Palkia. This is actually a good lead for me, I think. I think this is a good enough lead for me. I want to know what they're doing with that Palkia. Yo, how's it going, Rage Potato, my friend? How's it going? All right, I'm doing it. Oh, I want to earth power the shit out of this thing. Do you guys think it's sashed? Should I earth power that thing and ignore this Palkia? Do you think it'll kill? Or should I blue flare it? I think I am going to depulse this Palkia and just ignore the Toxic for now. It might be the wrong play in the late in the long run, but I do have like a cart that can like 1v1 with it a little bit later. Yeah, let's go. Sinister should be sashed. I agree. I don't think earth power would KO it. I don't... It's not Black Sludge. No, it's Vested, if anything. It's Vested, which means I don't think Earth Power would KO. Yo, let's go. Surge is up. And right now, this person still probably thinks they're okay. But then, this is where they're about to be knowing that they're sad. Let's go. Psychic Seeds Reshiram, my boy. Yeah, I think it's AV2, which is why I'm, like, kind of chilling here. We baited that fake out with this lead. And uh, the Deep Pulse. We're outspeeding. Looks like they're over Trick Room, which, like, I don't know if that's actually the play. Um, I didn't think that was going to KO, obviously. Um, but it's a lot of damage. And we underspeed this thing probably by quite a bit. I'm going to say quite a bit. Like, we can just depulse that same slot. Um, part of me really wants to go for an ally switch here. Because, like, if they go for a dragon attack, it'll get completely mitigated. I think I'm just going to Psy Shock the Toxic Croak, though. Because, like, remember, Psy Shock is so much better, especially against that AV Toxic Croak. Oh, my goodness. And we probably underspeed. No, you don't want to. You don't want the Draco. That's a great question. You do not want Draco um, because we're Psychic Seeds, right? If I was Vested, I would definitely go Draco, but I'm not Vested. I'm Seed. So I want to stick on this board for a really long period of time. That's a great question. That is a great question. Are you Sash, bro? You Sash, bro? Boom! Reshiram brings the pain. So ever since that time you mentioned the easier route to making a team versus Red Lucky Prankster, Tailwind, I feel every team I make is the same. Yes. At, 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 that's kind of how it do be, though. You know? Kind of how it do be. Too good of a core to not use on every team. I agree. No Shedinja. Okay. So let's actually think about what is the right way to do this. Um, I'm pretty sure the vest was on the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the vest was on... That Toxicroak. Lele is still in a great spot. We're going to eat the biggest Earthquake here, I think. And I think if we actually get the Zap off the board, I think we win the game. I think that we can go, like, Depulse. I don't think I have to Blue Flare. I think Depulse Psy Shock is probably enough to take out that Zap. It might not. It might also have Protect. Um, but, like, if I get that thing off the board, Lando shouldn't be able to fight our Kartana. Let's see if Lele can take it out. Psy Shock. Did I need to Blue Flare, chat? 
Did I need a blue floor? Survey says. I did not. Oh my goodness. Yo, I also want to say, like this Lele, no special attack. It's not special attack investment. It's bulk. This, look, at this, look at this rock slide. Yo, my Lele's eating this rock slide for breakfast. Yo, thanks for that TR. Thanks for the TR, my friend. I really, I really appreciate it. So they, they TR'd me. They TR, they fake out of my restaurant slot. They ignored my torn. They expected me to tailwind and they TR'd. And I'm like, you know what? Not having it. Bulky restroom. Don't even care. You love to see it. Don't you just love? We just went after the right targets. We just went after the right targets, picking up those wins with restroom. It's like a top 500 player. Good team. Palki is good. But like, Palki doesn't want to mess with restroom. So we take yeah, that, was, that, was, that was about pretty that was pretty clean. Zekrom usable? You know I used Zekrom to qualify for the last player's cup, right? Zekrom is what I built my team around for the last player's cup. So yeah, Zekrom's great. Reshiram versus Zacian. I'll take it. Yeah, and I think you can lead here too. I think like so right now that Lecky is like, oh my goodness. That instrument's like, oh my goodness. Like all those Pokemon are like, oh my goodness, this is a Reshiram. And you know what I said? Reshiram brings the pain. So let's see. Urshifu's okay here. Um, even like cart is like actually not like bad here at all. I actually think we're gonna lead with it. Um, just because it's so good versus Amoongus. Uh, I definitely think we want to bring Lele here too. Actually, they don't have train control, do they? I can just lead with Lele then. It, it is wasting time on the Ensign. Like it, the Ensign would just go for like Snarl or something. But I like Lele lead because I can switch in my Urshifu. And I do think that we bring our Leki. If you want to trick room me, like you will be sad. That's that's how this will go. Do I want Cart or Lecky? I think I want the Lecky, because the Lecky is just great at... If we hit an Electro Web onto the Zacian, it makes it so our Urshifu outspeeds it. So, I like that. Let's go. Yeah, we're using Citrus Lele. It's full bulk Lele. Full bulk Lele. So, it's made to, like, trade really well with, like, Rillaboom and Feeny and just other just general Pokemon. I thought about even going Rocky Helmet, but I, I actually like the Citrus in testing. Um, basically, so the, there's, like, late game situations where it's, like, they have an Aleki and I have a Lele. Like, I'm able to super trade well in those situations. And it's really, really nice. Let's see. Let us see what happens. Also, remember, like, um, you know, I'm using Ally Switch in this Lele. So, the ability to stick on the board longer if, like, an Ally Switch happens is one of the reasons why, like, Citrus is such a good item in that situation. So, let's go. What do you got? Instant? Yeah, like, I care. Cool. Like, look at this. Look how sad that Amoongus is. It's sad. It's a sad little Amoongus over there. Let's see. So, like, Psyshock, Blue Flare, Wood KO? I think. Do I even want a Blue Flare? Do I want to waste a Blue Flare onto that thing? That's actually a, a good question. Because you can't fake out anything. You can go, like, Protect Amoongus Snarl. And that would suck. And then I would have to Blue Flare for sure. But, like, I'm thinking I really wanted it. Can I get away with like Earth Power Psyshock? Is that is that usable? Like is this is this enough damage? I think it will be. If it's not, Amoongus is just the best Pokemon ever made. Amoongus is gonna protect. So he's gonna go protect Snarl or protect Parting Shot, and I, I think that's still fine. I wouldn't be surprised to see a parting shot into the Reshiram. Yeah, I don't I don't need to I didn't even want to like double into the instant. I, I'm making sure I don't get uh I'm making sure I don't get uh spored. This is still fine. I will have to blue flare though, which is unfortunate. I also note that like I used Earth Power last turn, so maybe they might switch to like something to mitigate. I mean, they might they probably switch into melodic if they're switching to anything. But like, I'll take a burn on melodic. Blue flare is a really good move. Shocks it up. I'd love to get a KO here. Side shot. Let's go. Come on, Lele. Come on. Reshiram can still do this at minus one, I think. Blue flare! Yo, we actually hit our blue flare. Sometimes lucky. Let's go Reshiram with the deeps! For days. Moongus was by far and away the scariest Pokemon in this matchup. Um, yeah, I don't care if you want to snarl me. I can literally just switch. Uh, I wonder if minus two blue flare takes out Zacian. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, we're already undefeated today. Yeah, good snarls for sure. Zacian? Yeah. Alright. I, I'm actually just going to stay in, I think. Uh, what do I have in the back? I have Lucky, which is great. Uh, we just got to chip this guy to put him within range for Lucky. So I'm going to Blue Flare here 
and just go for an ally switch. I love Lele Reshiram ally switch here because the things that hit the Lele Reshiram super resist. And if you want to go like a fighting attack from a Zacian into my Lele, I super resist it with the Lele too. So I really, really like it. Yeah, I don't think minus two. I just got to get it under half so Lucky can come in and take it out. So ally switch the degeneracy. Yeah, I, I, I like Lele Reshiram a lot. It's one of my favorites. There's a sub. I was really worried about that. I really was worried about that. Because I, I, at this point, I'm stuck hitting, having to hit blue players. I am still hitting the blue player, but he should still be going for these subs. <sighs> yeah, this is bad. Because at this point, like, I don't even know if I can break the subs anymore. If After, like, the third snarl. Oh, you turn. Sick. Bro, I'm happy he didn't snarl me there. Now, what is this coming out? What is this Pokemon coming out here? Got minus two on my Reshiram. Lucky, that's great. Should have kept snarling. Yeah, I think he should have, yeah. Can I just ignore the lucky? I think I can. Um, yeah, I gotta do this. You can totally... Okay, cool. Go for it. Yeah, I ain't doing shit. Cool. Cool. Doubling the restaurant, I'm shooting to get the KO. Look how thick we are. Yo, this is actually going to do decent shit. So I'm just doing this to break Sash. Sash broken. Bro, that's still a lot of damage. I could have Earth Power that and got the KO. Wow. Blue Flare. Yo, connections made to Zashian. Where's that sub, Chief? That's definitely enough range for me to win with, uh, what is that? With basically anything at this point. Um. I just got to play this the right way. I can't switch in either of these. I don't think I, I think I have to just sit here with this Lele and like chill until the Insane comes back on the board. Let's do it like that. It's not confirming the Insane. Oh, I'm so good at Pokemon. Why would I ever hit your Zacian? The rare U-turn Insane? I guess you're right. You're right. I guess it could be U-turn Insane. Yo, am I good at Pokemon? There's actually a lot of damage against Insane here. Um... Let's see. What do you think is important to hide certain moves from your opponents as long as possible? Yes, definitely. I guess you're right. It is probably vested. It wouldn't be U-turn if it wasn't. You're right. Look at chat with the 2,000 IQ. But yeah, this, all of this, I really like this incident on the board right now. Because like this is the last turn. I still, I still think of one more turn of Psychic Train. So like they are big sad. And, and Zacian's too old to sub, which means I don't have to care about it anymore. I literally can just come up with my lucky moment whenever I feel like it. Oh, shit. Just kidding. I'll actually let Lele die if I, if, he, if he wants the KO. I'll go for a Moonblast here. I don't, I don't think it'll KO. I'm actually completely fine just doubling into this slot. And if we get a KO, we get a KO. If not, I get to bring out really good Pokemon. Um, I think that I have Le I have Lecky and Urshifu in the back. And I think that's enough to KO either of these. You can fake out whoever you want. You can hit whoever you want. It really doesn't matter to me. You hitting the Lele? I think Lele is more threatening than a 20 HP rush around, to be fair. Oh, go for it. Bro, that's all you. That's all you. You can have it. Um, yeah, I think Lecky coming in here and going for a really, really good um, Electroweb is really, really nice. Switching out my Lele. So we bring the Lecky in here. I could Bolt Switch the Zacian too, back out for a Lele. In case they want to U-turn as well. So like they protect Zacian U-turn, break Sash on Lecky. Um... Yeah, we switch in there. Electro will kill the Zashi, and it's got a hit. Yeah, I like Electro up here. So, Lele switches out. We just don't want to use our minus two Lele. Because, <laughs> like, Lele can come in and still be really, really good versus, like, that Lucky back there. There's to protect Zashi. It's going to protect U-Turn to break my Sash. Um, but that should be fine. I don't have Sash anyways. I'm Magnet. Like, that's a decent amount of damage. I wonder if they're flare blitzing actually. Yeah, they're U turning. Alright. So the thing is, like, I outspeed their Zacian right now. And I think my Urshifu takes out their Leki with an Aqua Jet. I think Aqua Jet takes that out. What do you guys think? You guys think Aqua Jet takes that out? Is 
It doesn't if they switch out for Insane. If they switch out Zacian for Insane, it doesn't get the KO. I, I did the right play by protecting, I think. I don't care if you hit me with an Electro, I'm switching up for Lele next turn, probably. Good play for me, though. Is there a Shroudiment? We are Adamant and we are Mystic Water, yeah. Yeah, I like to detect Electro Web for sure. And they're faster than our Lucky. Definitely faster than us. Oof. Soak some damage. And so now the Aqua Jet will KO. And I'll switch in Layla and get the Aqua Jet confirmed. If I hit. Cool. So that will definitely KO even after the... Uh, yep, that's Aqua Jet range for their Lucky. Cool. That was a really, really good play. Oh, I can't Aqua Jet though if I'm switching... No, I can use Aqua Jet. I don't have to, I don't have to hard switch in Lele. Because I thought about switching... Oh, they're going to fake out the Urshifu, though. If I don't. Yeah, we have to switch Lele in here, I think. I don't want to switch in my Lele. Yeah, I do. I like this. This gets my lucky off the board. So it resets my speed tier for when I need it. So no fake out on my lucky slot. And if they want to go for Volt Switch, they can. They're still faster than me too. So like that's the thing. They they would Volt Switch first, which means I'd be able to reply back. There's a the Volt Switch. Cool. Oh, uh, we just get to kill their Zacian. See the Citrus Berry value right now? Oh my goodness. So I just killed their Zacian. They didn't fake out either. Yeah, now that I could, took the Zacian out, I should be alright. Because I'm also resetting my Lucky Speed tier. Bye bye, Zacian. Lele the Tree Victor. Hey, yeah, it's a cool set. Volt Switch for days. That's slower Volt Switch value. And then I bet you they're Flare Blitzing my Lucky slot, which is now turning into an Urshifu. Like, oh, the outplays for days. The outplays for days. I don't see a problem with, like, double protecting. Next turn. We'll see what's up. We'll see if, who they're actually going after. U-turn. Cool. Yeah, that shouldn't KO. You know why it doesn't KO? Because we had a Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry value. I think we just protect Urshifu, let them kill Lele. And then we just bring in our Lucky. And then... Fuck. Let's see. Yeah, we'll see. We could still lose. That Vested and Sin is still really problematic because I don't think my Lucky really wants to fight it. <sighs> I could protect here. I think they'll kill my Lele and then I bring up my Lucky and they're faster than me. That's the problem. And I don't know if their Lucky's like Magnet or Sashed. I don't think our Urshfu dies to a sashed electro web but i think if they're magnet we would die i do think that we still protect here if they want to go protect their lucky that should be okay and like kill our Layla with like a foil blitz i'd be fine with that yeah I, i'm okay with this this is this is fine um let's see aqua jet ally switch you can't aqua jet there's a psychic train on the board there's a, there's a psychic train on the board, guys. You can't. You, you guys all would have lost. Everyone would have lost. Straight up. <laughs> Chat would have got dumpstered. Okay. Yeah, the terrain. The terrain, the terrain stays mainly on the plane. Okay. You got Electro up here. 
Yeah, we get redirected. Let's see what happens. I, I don't think that their Lecky is... Um, yeah, I don't think that it's... Is it a miss? Oh my god, they just missed it. Alright, we'll take those. Give me that. Yeah, we take those. I take it. It's mine. Can't have it. And we're doubling into the slot with our Urshifu just in case we miss the uh, Electro back on him. But I'll take him's missing. I think he was sashed on the on the Regi Regilecki. But I'll take those. We deserve this win. We played really well, I think. I think we played really, really well. And if they really wanted to hit us, the thing is, I actually think they should have just Thunderbolted or, or Volt Switch the Urshifu. Um, I really do think that. I think they thought that we were Sashed the whole time, which is why they were Electro Webbing, but we weren't Sashed. We're Mystic Water. And there's no way for them to know that. They never saw our Sash. So they assumed that we were Sash and it heavily, heavily influenced their play. Out on. First Reshiram? This is probably my worst matchup. <laughs> probably not the greatest matchup. They have Intimidates too. <sighs> okay. Torn's usable. I like Reshiram here. Do I just leave with it still? Do I just try my best to make that work? I mean, how much damage do you think we take from Precipice Blades, guys? A lot. I think it's a lot. Um, I don't think that there's a problem with leading Urshifu. What about like Urshifu cart? Because I'm planning on switching out anyways. And like this would pin the ground on enough. I think that's okay. This is like good against like Porygon. If they want to lead like... If they wanted to lead... Ah, uh, Leki would still mess me up. But I guess I could switch in my Lele for that. Let's try these. Let's try these. I don't think this is going to be a good matchup. Can I Kartana dumpster ground on? It doesn't really dumpster it. It just... It doesn't even one-shot it. Kartana does not one-shot Groudon. Um, and if that Venusaur is rocking, like, Weather Ball, which it should, they'd be really good against us. But, like, Kart can be good against some of these. Definitely going to bring the Kart this one. I always think it's funny, though. Um, like, I, I obviously, I don't think this person's sniping. I have no way to know. But, like, the sniper we fought in the other game, people, like, they, they always say, like, you're not, you don't have enough viewers to get sniped, man. You, you're you not big enough to get sniped. It's like, bro, I'm like the biggest VGC channel on Twitch right now. I'm like the third biggest Pokemon channel. Um, so like, and the thing is like, everyone knows I stream all my games. So it's not like someone's queuing into me on purpose and like, ha, I'm gonna snipe him. They're like, oh, I'm playing that's a, goes to Twitch, opens the stream. It's not as degenerate, it's just a, still a little bit degenerate. I wonder if I should go after the Porygon. I think, or, or the Incin. I think I should go after the Incin. I think I can one-shot it. I think I'm just switching the Lele go after the Incin. Because um, I think Incin's going to be really hard to remove. Never lucky. Special attack proc. That still sucks. Yeah, I think we're going to go after the Incin. You see with this team, we're making a lot of, like, this switch in Lele play to bait the Incin. And that's just because Incin's so, po so popular. Like, this is one of the ways to beat it. multi Urshfu move makes itself take 80% damage on Rocky Helmet. It takes a lot. Yeah, it's it's it was like basically like rough skin Rocky Helmet used to be how you beat like a Mega Kangaskhan too. So there's a fake out. We block those. We should be able to take out this Incin. If it's Citrus, it might live. But if it's Pinch Berry, we'll see if we get it in range. Like, oh, it's just gone. I think it's just gone. So there's no Citrus. Oh my gosh, I didn't even need all three hits. Sad the biggest channel is only 120 viewers? I think that's fine. I don't think that's sad at all. Like, I don't know what you I don't know what you thought this was gonna be. I don't know what you thought you signed up for. This isn't League of Fortnite, this is Pokemon VGC. So let's see, we took out the Incin, and we didn't really lose anything for it. Like we can double protect too, we can wait out this TR, uh, we can bring in our Reshiram here. I bet you there's actually a high chance I still outspeed that underspeed that Groudon. There's a Feeny. I'm I'm totally fine with this. I, I don't actually have an issue with this. Oh, uh, yeah, you can check that in Pokemon Home. You can check that uh, all the usage stats in Pokemon Home. So we're going to switch out for sure over the next couple turns. I think I'm going to go double protect into a uh, next turn double switch just to wait out these trick room turns. I really hope I don't get... Oh, do you guys think that Feeny is going to go for um, a Calm Mind? Uh, I hope I don't get Calm Minded. That would suck, because, like, I don't have a way to deal with it if they do. I have... Oh, I guess I have Psyshock Lily. Um, 
Thunderbolt, thank goodness. Sick. Thunderbolt, my oh, what you, bro just moonblast me. Okay, he did. Okay, for some reason I thought that the uh, I thought that the Feeny Thunderbolt did. I was like, does it even get Thunderbolt? My mouth. Yeah, so we're gonna switch in. Um, your Thunderbolt Nat slot, so I'll rush around, switch there, and you're moonblasting, so I'll, I'll switch cart here. Cool. Let's go. Really happy that Feeny didn't go for um. Really, we're just really happy didn't go for a calm line. That would have been a pain in the butt. Because we want to be able to bring back in our restaurant to get a seeds boost. Because right now we're switching in. We don't have our seeds boost yet. We have to switch Lele back in to do that. So we'll switch out cart for Lele next turn. Soak some damage there. Use our citrus berry probably. Regain terrain control. Activate our seeds. Make our restaurant bulky. And then we'll start trying to deal with the Fiend. It's smart that they're switching it out to regain that terrain control for later. Okay. So 120 elite people. That's right. Yeah, um, uh, you can evolve level 100 Pokemon. I think you just have to give them a rare candy, as weird as that sounds, and they'll evolve. So if they have like a level 100 Magikarp, if you get another rare candy, it'll evolve. I think they patched that. Not patched, but like I think that's a new feature in Sword and Shield. So actually, what's really good is I haven't even used my seeds yet. So like, I haven't really done anything significant. Please no para. Actually, para me, please. Para, para, para. Damn, I wanted to underspeed. All right, so let's actually look at this. So we know there's these two plus Feeny. Two turns left on TR. I bet you I underspeed that freaking Groudon. I don't want to get Swords Danced. There's a high chance we get Heat Crash. If they want to make a read um, and go for Thunderbolt Heat Crash or Thunderbolt P Blades into my cart slot, I think that's a good player alert. I think that is a, a good player alert. Switch out the Porygon. Go for it, son. Again, if they're Swords Dancing here, they're Swords Dancing here. There's not that much I can do about it. If they're subbing here, I can, there's not that much I can do about it. Um, don't want to lose our cart. That's on Gower Slow, bro. I haven't used it yet. I I also think that there's always, like, P-Blades is always good against Rush Around. He crashed. Go for it. It's a good play. I mean, that, that's respecting Kartana, you know. Urshfu soaks that damage. This is the last turn of Trick Room. Um, we're in a decent enough spot. I think I underspeed that Groudon, though. I think I'm gonna do it. Because if they KO the Reshiram, which, like, I don't care if they KO our Reshiram, I get to bring out, like, Cart. And that, that works for me. Or my Lele. Let's go! Blue Flare Beatdown! Let's go. I think we can double into Groudon. I think, um, I think Surging Strikes, even though we're, you know, in the sun, Surging Strikes is the leaf blade. We should take it out. There's the Peebo. It's right play. I thought that I'd underspeed it, guys. I really did. I could have protected there. We're not even dead. Look at us living. Thriving, surviving. Blue Flare! Underspeed the Feeny, though. We take those. Look at that damage. Oh, look at the damage. Is that, a, is that a pinch or citrus? Just be pinch, please. Citrus. All right, that's fair. Moonblast. Yo, the reeds hit our Reshiram, bro. That's fine. Like I said, I think this is okay. Because we just go um, Cart here. And Cart's just a big bully here. Like a big bully. I think that we can actually KO the Groudon with Surging Strikes. Is where does that sound? <sighs> we took that much from our Blue Flare. It's heavy attack investment. And they can't really protect versus this. I'll go for it. Let's go! Do you have any advice for awarding doubles? I was top 10 OU Showdown ladder and like singles back in X and Y, but VGP, VGC feels like a different piece. Um, I would say if you're good in singles, you're good at doubles. Um, uh, it's They're basically the same thing. It's basically about just board positioning. Um, like right there, you got a kill on a rush ramp and it allowed us to bring in our real threat safely, right? That's super super good i want to see if they're trying to protect right they shouldn't right they should just go for an attack try to eat this damage and let's see how it works we'll protect okay we, we take those unseen fists kind of busted here i don't know if i want to ko here like obviously that's great damage close combat will kill from there let's see if certain strikes hit the ko because we can just switch it up and go close combat into the porygon and getting up that in sin like turn one it makes so they can't just scan these intimidates yeah i think we got the kill on the ground on the next time we just leap blade the beanie close combat and the porygon we got it I'm surprised that Groudon there's better at Restaurant, though. What restricted would you use 
if you had to be as good as you can. I'd use Kyogre. I would definitely use Kyogre. This guy's probably thinking, like, how the hell is this guy really winning with Kartana right now? Like, the whole meta kind of says, like, I hate you, Kartana. And I'm like, yes, Kartana. So let's see. I think the right play might be to double into the Porygon just to, like, make sure it goes down. Because I, I don't see a way this Feeny comes back, right? Hmm. Feel like there's so much more counterplay in Dynamax? No. Dynamax feels dumb. Dynamax is stupid. I actually think we want to double into the Porygon. Just because I don't know if Close Combat will kill it. And if, if they go Protect Vini, and Close Combat doesn't kill that, we will lose. So, like, we have to go... We have to do it like this. I, we can take one attack. We can take one attack from the um, Vini. Yeah, they scoop. We take those. We take those. Wins up. Reshiram beating Groudon? Never heard of it. Kyogre Shed Ninja. Cool. I'm actually down to test this. And there's very limited terrain control. So, like, Lele switching is... I mean, I can just leave with it, can't I? I can. Hmm. I also really like Urshifu as a lead. I also think Kart is, like, an amazing Pokemon here. I mean, I'm going to bring it. I think it's right switch in out of this in the first couple turns. Cart and Reshiram can hit Shedinja, and that's it. And that's what we're going to have to look at. I think that, like, Leg Lecky is still really good. Torn seems a little bit wasteful. Urshifu can't hit Shedinja, so it's fine. Tidal had me buckled. Yo, that, that Groudon video was sick. Groudon Ramsey serving up those wins, those hot wins. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Ogre Torn? Ooh, no Torn. Or sorry, no, no Ogre. I'm totally fine with no Ogre. Like, you're bad versus this board. Down bad versus this board. Hmm. So I get my seeds up. I don't think I actually have to care versus, like, this at all. I would love to chip the Ogre. I'd love to soften up this Lucky as well. Well, I don't know what Lele is. What do you mean? I'm using Lele. <laughs> Alright. It's probably Scarf Kyogre if they're not leading with it. It's probably Scarf Ogre. I respect Scarf Ogre. I'm not losing games with just yet. I want to see if they're Volt Switching. Tailwind? That's totally fine. Ain't no thing. Do what you wanna do. Cool. Who, someone's coming in and taking damage, and it's not me. Like, if I hit your ogre with this EP, that's big. It's 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 only doing like 10-15%, but it makes your water spout so much weaker. Shit injure? And sin. Bro! You can't do that either. That that ain't the sauce either, Chi. That is also not the sauce. Damage. About half. You get citrus? No citrus. Cool. They do have a tailwind up. They do. I, I'm not... I wouldn't be surprised to get snarled here. Yeah, Icy one. I don't care. Yo, you missed. We take those. Um, yeah, I really, I really think we're going to get snarled. Because I'm, I'm not getting Vest vibes just yet. I'm getting Pinchberry vibes. So I think we're, I think they're going to Snarl. And it's going to make it so we proc his Pinchberry, which sucks for me. Right? It does suck, but, like, I just want this damage. Like, we're just trying to wait out turns on their Tailwind. We're actually, like, dealing damage with the Torn Breaking Sash here, putting him within two-shot range. This board has really low power. And if we take out that Sin, I'm not going to lie, like, they can't actually break our cart, I don't think. Show me that Pinchberry. Yep. I mean, I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, this next turn will double into it. Yep. Cool. Like, Lecky, Torn, Ogre really do struggle with Reshiram. 
Yeah, go for the hurricane. You hit me with the raw hurricane. Citrus! Citrus D's. Cool. I'd like to get that torn off the board too, but I can't do it this turn. Flare Blitz? Yo, are we not going to die because we're Citrus? That's Citrus Lele! The Citrus Lele literally coming in hot. I'd like to get a KO here. I mean, we know that we KO the Incin. It's redirecting an Earth Power, which isn't optimal. Um, so, I didn't know they were going to Flare Blitz that turn. I thought they were just... You should have just Snarled again. Um, but we'll see what they want to do here. I don't have a problem double protecting just to help wait out those Tailwind turns so the Torn's not going to... It's overtime now, right? Yep, there it is. Cool, so I'd like to be able to get this Torn off the board. We know they have these two plus Lecky. Cart can come in and just be a bully um, if we do this the right way. This is the last turn Tailwind. So there's not like a problem double protecting here per se, but I, I do think that you want to go like protect Reshiram for sure. I think I'm going to protect Reshiram. I think I'll let them KO the Lele so we can actually get something, you know, out of it. We can bring in our cart next turn, and they, they have to pick between if they want to go Tailwind again or if they want to go something else. Bro, did they just not tail or uh, I, don't know, I don't know why I thought they were going to protect. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is totally fine. For some reason, I thought they were going to play that a little bit differently. They didn't. Um, yeah, this is the last turn, too. And now they have to, re now they have to recast it. Uh, Restaurant could have just ate that. Should I have just attacked? Hard to say. Tailwind Peter's out, though. Um, this is a good situation for Cart. Let's think about what we want to do here. If that Ogre has Protect, they'll do it. Reshram's at minus one. You know what? I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is the right play. I think I like this, though. Icy win. Go for it. So no Tailwind for the rest of the game. That's actually really good. So, like, Lucky can come and just be a big bully. I don't think Ice Beam takes out our cart, like, at all. So I think we actually get a double KO here. I don't know if, I don't know if Ogre can one-shot our Reshiram from here. Spouts up. Full HP. Are you, are you Specs? Yo, thick! Look how thick we are, chat. Come on, come on, get down with the thickness. Bro! What is Reshi weak to? Ground. And dragon. Yo, Hugh Max will gifted 10 gifted subs. Yo, I'd give 10 subs too for this amazing Reshiram play. The thickness just soaked that spout. Yo, Hugh, thank you. Thank you, yo. Subs going all the way up, guys. Put some subs up, guys. Put some sub emotes up, please. 10 gifted subs. That's a whole heck of a lot of money. That's a whole heck of a lot of money. Absolutely popping up. Guys, put some subs up. Thank you so much, You Hopefully, you're having an absolutely wonderful day. We just want to protect you to make it so it spread damage as much as possible. And uh, we just let them take out our cart here, and then we bring out our Lucky, and we should be okay. We should be good to go. Boyscape VGC says, let's go. When you EV your models to take specific attacks, how do you know how much goes in HP and how much goes in the spadef? You just run the run the calcs. Best streamer in the multiverse. Yo, I'm trying my best right now. Don't die, guard. Never lucky. <laughs> uh, basically, like, you say, like, you plug in the water spout, right? You say Kyogre with this water spout. And you normally you want to max your HP first, and then you put whatever leftover is in spadef. Or you, you max your HP first, and then you see how much spadef you need. That's how it's the normal way to do it. They do outspeed. I think we're better off just going double Thunderbolt instead of, like, Electro Web. Because the Electro Web, us, we're still going to be slower. So I think it's better to just... We'll, we'll go for the Earth Power here. I think they're probably Sashed, is my, my guess here. And we'll just double Thunderbolt. I think we should be able to eat Electro Web plus a Thunderbolt from them. So we'll see it. There's the Electro Web. Yo, they had to hit both those. It's really important. Don't even kill my Reshiram. Reshiram thick! Look at this Reshiram, though! Look at this Reshiram, though. Do you see how thick we are? We ate spouts. We ate, like, multiple icy winds. We ate, literally, the kitchen sink was thrown at this Reshiram. And it just lives forever. <laughs> Never die. This person is, this person's gonna, like, not like this so hard. They're like, I hit so many water spouts. I hit it with so many moves. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't even care. Reshiram's so good. Alolan Raichu. Just saw the Groudon video. Yo, that's a good video. I liked it. I liked it. 
I mean, I could just leave with this Reshiram, right? I could totally just do it. I think you want to leave with it, switch in the Lele. I mean, actually, is there a problem with just like, no, because that yeah, Pink Urchin's super under speed. So like, I feel something like this is probably the right play. I wonder if that's a Scarf Ogre. But I think you bring like Lele here. I also really am a fan of Kart in these matchups. Like it's great against Raichu, it's great against Urshifu, decent against Serena. We'll see versus Persian, but it's good against Ogre. I think it's funny, I have a Torn here and I just never use it. <laughs> I just never ever use it. But let's see. Good looking team though. I, I think that might actually be an Urshifu Dark. I'm actually getting Urshifu Dark vibes from that. And so we'll see how that actually... That Urshifu Dark can be a big problem for something like Reshiram. Just being able to crit through me. And uh, just make me big sad. So we'll see. I mean, I, Urshifu in general is a Pokemon that Reshiram doesn't really like fighting. R Reshiram is too OG to deal with that. But just look at my team on the left. It's so freaking cool. Like, there's a Reshiram just chilling at the top. It's like, bro, I got Reshiram Tail. What do you got? You gotta leave Fake out. You gotta leave Fake out to stop the Reshiram Tailwind. Otherwise, you're gonna be big sad. You don't wanna eat that Tailwind Draco, Life Orb boosted, like, or Specs Draco. You gotta leave Fake out. So I switch into Lele. I don't die, get my Psychic Seeds boost, set that terrain, play a little bit longer game, come out with the big stuff in the back. Do you have a favorite non legendary Mon? Um, I like Sceptile. Butterfree's my favorite Pokemon of all time. So does Butterfree count? Butterfree definitely counts. Best Pokemon confirmed. Let me check something here. All right. Reshiram Lecky. Cool. So it's really good. We're just going to switch in Lele. Um, I think we're just going to switch in Lele and Earth Power. Because I'm not that afraid of a lot of these. And I think it's better to go after the Raichu. I think there's a higher chance that Raichu could be sashed. But I think it's still the right play. EP baby. You guys didn't see Balloon on it, right? It wasn't. <laughs> He's not tricking me with that Electric Surge in the Balloon plays. Oh, man. That'd be funny. Let's see. Yeah, switching Lele is great. When, whenever you have the advantage of having, like, a slower terrain setter, weather setter, you usually don't want to leave with it because then it lets people like me switch in, regain that control. And Raichu tends to change how it works based off of how the trains work. It works off rising voltage, but it also gets, like, expanding force. Let's see if they're actually reading me switching a Lele and go for expanding force. That'd be sick. I wouldn't even be mad. I think they're fake outing, right? I think they're going for fake out. So let's see it. There's the fake out. It's almost like we block those. And they were targeting the rest ramp, so they don't want to deal with this. EP baby! That's a thick boy. I think you're vested then. I think you would have died if you weren't. And so remember, there's no more terrain, so it's not doing anything. It's going to tickle. Are you orbed? I can see. See, that's how good I am. I can see that orb. I wasn't even done taking damage. I was like, I know my calc so well that I'm like, huh, that shouldn't have done more than 25%. The second it went over, like the millisecond it went over that 25% mark, I was like, you're orbed before they even took the damage. And I, I can tell the difference between orb and a magnet. And then they took the damage. So let's see. Uh, I think the right play is probably just to Earth Power the Pink Urchin. Do you have any flying types? You do not. And go for probably... We're going to Moonblast here. Um, just because I don't want them switching in Urshifu to block a Psyshock. You can see the frames. That's right. Yeah, Protect's totally fine. I want to see if they're Volt switching here. In like Urshifu or something like that. Electro. Good. That's a great Electro web. That's a really smart Electro web. Like speed's not that important for this team. Uh, we will still get a KO. But let's see, um, let's see. We haven't seen the Butterfly on one of your videos in a long while. Time to bring it out. The Butterfree is not that great in this format. Like, I could, but it's not, it's not that great. Like, what? You haven't seen Butterfree since Regilecki came out, and there's a reason for that, right? <laughs> Regilecki's pretty good. So we'll see. Chat, what's everyone's favorite Pokemon? Everyone, leave your favorite Pokemon in the chat. All right, so I don't need to over-tunnel on that Pink Urchin. I want to see what Urshifu's coming out, if it's even Urshifu at all. That's fine. I don't give a shit about this Kyogre. Because we have Cart in the back. Absol, Melodic, Darkrai. Yeah, okay. Bunch of Edzwards out in here. I think Earth Power would kill the Pink Urchin. I don't think I need to actually care about it. I actually think if I soften up the Ogre, we're good to go. Because I can feel if I KO the Pink Urchin, right? It just lets it so they bring out something that's actually good. Right? I actually think it's probably just a better idea to just do damage to the ogre. Do I want to save this Lele? No, I want them to kill the Lele so I can bring in Cart. For Alligator, good good choice. Wise choice. Cool Pokemon. Dragonair's cool choice too. Yeah, going for the switch on Pink Urchin. We're ignoring that slot. 
So we're letting them get a KO here. There's the Urshfu. Just like I said, it is Water Urshfu. So that's technically good. There's the Spout. This is awesome. I don't technically have a problem with this. Look how well Reshiram eats that like an absolute champion. Like an absolute champion. I wonder if it's going to be a Sash on that Urshifu. I think that the uh, Pinkurchin was Orb. We saw that. I think the Raichu was Vested. I don't think it was Sashed. Um, so I really do think that that's probably going to be... I, th I think it's going to be a Sash Urshifu. It could, I guess, still potentially be some sort of crazy weird Scarf Urshifu. That would suck. But I think the right play in doubling into that slot with like Electro Web is probably the right play. I could also double protect here, but there's an Urshfu, so I don't want to. I'll go with Electro Web. Yo, let's see. Withdraw over for Pinkurchin. Yo, did anyone tell you that Electric Terrain powers up my boy? Reki, are you Scarfed? Are you really just going to be Scarfed right now? I'll be so sad if I get Scarf Urshifu. Okay, it's Aqua Jet. I don't know if we're dead. Yeah, we're thick. So that would have killed a regular Lucky. Rain boosted attack there would have killed a regular Lucky for heavy bulk right now. No Sash either. We take those. Even if it is a Scarf Ogre in the back, we do have Cart and we're in a good spot. So want to find a way to make Dragapult work? Yo, use Baton Pass Sash Dragon Dance Pult with Zacian. That sounds like a cool way to play. Da 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 damage. Big damage. Oh my goodness. Reshiram bringing the pain once again. Busting out the DPS. The deeps. And we're fine. There was Thunderbolt. If they're, even if they're Scarf, we're fine. Because at this point, they're just doing too little damage. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That is right. Thank you for the follow. Show me that Scarf over. I just want to see if you're Scarfed. Ah, they don't even show it. We take those. All the way to the bank. What a yeah, I don't, I don't see how this team beats Calyrex. Think Scissor can work? Most definitely. Scissor is absolutely amazing in this format. It's so good. Scissor is really, really good in this format. It invalidates a lot of stuff. I, I don't see how we actually beat a Calyrex. Like, I'm I'm not seeing it. Because we can't stop Trick Room. We can't. If they go fake out Trick Room, we can't stop it. If they go Mimikyu, I'm going to leave with my Urshifu. I'm going to leave with my Cart, right? I'm going to switch in my Lele to take away Terrains, and I'm going to try and get a Surgeon Strikes KO, but I don't think that'll work. These, this is my best shot. I don't have Taunt on my, uh, what is it? I don't have Taunt on my Torn, so I can't use Taunt either. Let's go. Certain support with Heal Pulse, so now. I love how I'm foreign of your consonants, so that's what happens when you play the game for like a million years, right? I don't, I think Yon's much better in Dynamax format. I think Yon is so much better in Dynamax format. I don't think it's a GOAT this season. I wouldn't really run Yon in this format. That's the worst lead that we could have fought. That is by far and away the worst lead we could have fought. Reshi hits through disguise. Yes, it does, but it doesn't one-shot Mimikyu. Blue Flare will not kill the Mimikyu because we don't have any investment. My best shot here is to hopefully be able to Surging Strikes this Mimikyu and Heart Switch in the Lele to take away like the Fake Out potential. Slash Grashy Glide. And if I would have just led Lele, the Rillaboom would have undersped it. So actually, they led with the perfect lead versus our team. They led with the Perfect lead versus our team. Not that much I could do about it either. So great play from them so far. Not been able to play the way I want this format, especially in counting all the roars and more ones. I think you just gotta find your own play style. Like I feel that like this is a real format, so everyone has to kind of find their own. You gotta you gotta find your own way. They're also not fake outing my cart. What a crazy guy. That's crazy that they're not fake outing cart there. I think they should have fake out a cart. Because if, if I'm Sash Urshi, I would win. Like, I just... Cart hits your whatever thing. Oh, we high rolled it! Yo, 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 yo! We high rolled it! Yo! I'll take those. Yeah, I'll take those. I, please kill me. Oh my goodness. We high rolled that. Did you see it did like 40% on the, the first one? And then the second one did like 55. That's nuts. Nuts. I think you had to go rush ram here. Not rush ram, uh, cart. Cart's better. Oh my gosh. I heard you like Trick Room. <laughs> this was so worth it. It was the right play for sure. I think we just have to nuke the Calyrex. I think, I don't know if uh, Smart Strike plus Moonblast does it. I don't think that it does. What do they have to switch in? They have a Torkoal potentially? They go protect Heart Switch and Torkoal, but like, I'm gonna I'm do this for days. Protect 
protect the U-turn into my cart. That's fine. As long as I'm not getting trick room here, I can bring in my rush ram like correctly. It's the right play. They're probably protecting here. Um, I'd like to see protect. That's the right play. Oh, no protect. We take those. Oh, why are they so fucking thick? Bro, why are they so thick? I'm cart. I, th I think they're vested. Yeah, they're vested. Cool, no trick room. That's fine. I mean, if they're not if they're not gonna be uh, trick rooming me, I don't give a shit. Look at this. Bulky Wayway once again. Smart strike there just to do it. They're probably switching in Rilla, and we're gonna switch this up and Psy Shock the Torkoal, I think. Unless we just wanna let ourselves die. Do we just wanna let ourselves die? Like on the card slot, bringing Reshiram. Yeah, I don't want to get double KO'd. I like this. This works. Protect the Lele here. Cool. Life Orb would have KO'd there. Life Orb what? From Lele? Are you protecting this turn? That'd be kind of nutty if you're protecting this turn. If you had it, like you should have protected last turn. So Lele's protecting. From Ice Horse? Uh, they're not going to run... Uh, there's no reason to... I, there's, they would, you would never run Life Orb on that thing. Like, ever. That's that's never the play. Uh, just because, like, you only have, like, one move. <laughs> you would you would run a Never Melt Ice. And it wouldn't have KO'd because we're super bulky, guys. Like, we're, like, full bulk on these two Pokemon. So it would not have KO'd if they were Orbed at all. Beast boosted, boys. Let's go. A bit pinned on our cart. I actually think I'm just going to switch out cart. Um... For Reshiram. Bring it back in after fake outs and stuff are done. I think we got it. I think we do be gotten these. Good damage on the Torkoal probably. I just have to go. I, I think you just have to side shock the Torkoal. Get decent damage. Oh, that's not going to do any damage at all. Is there a reason to do that at all? It's better to Moonblast this roll, I think. Put it within range for a, a Smart Strike, maybe. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. If you want to fake out the Lele, you fake out the Lele. Oh, they scooped? I'll take it. Yeah, they, th those two Mons back there couldn't beat Reshiram. Straight up. Reshiram would go Earth Power into the Torkoal Blue Flare into the Rilla, and we win the game. We take those. Reshiram, kind of good. Didn't even need the Reshiram that game. Shoutouts to Mystic Water Adamant Urshifu Water. Whew. They went so well against us too. And they disrespected our cart. That was nutty. That was absolutely nutty.